So I don't know if you guys know this, but I have Corbel kits. So you can purchase a kit and you can make yourself two corbels. So these are easy to put together. You can either paint them first and glue them together, or you can glue them together and then paint them. So each corbel has four pieces and they just fit together like so. So I'm going to glue the center parts together first. Okay, we're gonna let those sit just for a couple minutes just to make sure, cause this glue sets really fast. So I will be back. Okay, we are ready to paint. So take these clamps off. Beauty. Okay, so I'm gonna put a first coat on and what I'm going to be using is, this is Fusion's Renfrew Blue. So this is a, it's turquoise. And because I love color, so I could be um, predictable and use white, but I don't want to. I'm gonna use turquoise. If I can get the top off. It just isn't looking good. Some of these little, I've tried so many of these little bottles over the years, and some of them are just awful, like this one. Yeah, because that's not even gonna work. Totally plugged. And I'm going to need a brush that's fairly small to be able to get in. So I'm going to use, this is a Fusions, uh, not Fusions, but this is the Klingon R12. So it's a small round. And this, sh I should be able to get in there pretty well with this brush. So I'm just going to start. Now Renfrew Blue has a clear base. So it's one of the fusion colors that needs more coats. Um, some, of the, some of the colors have white base and some have a clear base. Renfrew is a clear base. So it's definitely gonna take a couple coats for this. Okay, so now I'm going to add some texture to these, but I'm gonna be using the same color. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt wash to add some texture. just going to dab this coat because I want the texture. So what doing this is also going to do is it's going to disguise that seam line in the middle 
and just make it look a little bit more like one solid piece. You can still see this seam a little bit. So I wanna I wanna try to cover that up some more. So I'm going to put another coat kind of just in this spot and I'm gonna be a little bit heavier with it. You don't have to cover that up. It's totally up to you. Um, I'm just wanting it to appear more like that middle part is one piece. It's just a, I don't know, personal preference, I guess. Okay, so those are fairly dry, almost dry, but I want to do the same texture on the back and the bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to want to do a wash over top using a, a charcoal color. Actually, no, I'm not gonna wanna use charcoal. I'm going to use, I wanna use a brown. Okay, let's try that. We'll try it on the back and see. That gives it a little bit of some color variation. So I'm just brushing it on and then kind of dabbing it off. how that looks but now I also want to add a little bit of metallic on here so I'm going to dry these okay now I'm going to go with DIYs pennies from heaven I'm just, I don't have a lot on here. And it's making a big impact on those high points. See what that's looking like?
look kind of dragon-like. I don't know, does that make sense? I like these. 